Welcome. Continuing with the painting of my Leviathan box, it was time to do some tyranids. Today I'll be showing you my two-step process to get them tabletop ready. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with tutorials on all the contents of the box. And as a heads up, I already have plans to improve on this process for the next time. The first step is to work on the skin. In order to get a pale color with dark recesses, a wash plus layering would be required. However, I made use of oil paints to get a super smooth organic look. First, applying a slightly diluted layer of paint all over. This was left to dry for an hour in order to allow the solvent to evaporate and give the oil time to set on the recesses. After, I took a makeup sponge and began to remove as much paint as possible. Still, a layer of oil plus some blue tint was left behind. From here I made use of an old brush to apply bits of paint over the area I wish to highlight, and took another brush to blend it in with the residual oil. You can add more paint if you wish to go later, but do it little by little. Just make sure to clean up your brush between each blending on a paper towel and keep it dry. While good looking, this might look like too much work. Well, we can go faster by simply dry brushing but with oils. Pick up a bit of paint and lightly go over the surface. This will provide an extremely smooth result because of the oil paint mixing properties. Just like before, make sure to clean up your brush in a paper towel before picking up fresh paint. Since dry brushing is a bit messy, this step must be done first not to ruin any previous work. Here's a look at the before and after from the cleanup to the painting itself. While thin, it'll take two days for the oil layer to dry up. After, we can begin working on the carapace and talons. There are many ways and styles you can use to paint this element of the model. I chose to go for the lines approach, which didn't end up as I imagined, but I have planned some changes for the next time. One thing I can tell you is that to paint consecutive lines fast, it is important for your paint to be slightly diluted as I've shown before, and for your hand to be steady by resting it on the model. My plan was to apply a base of medium grey and follow up with some edge highlights of pale sand. As I've said many times before, the key is to work with each side of the brush against the edge itself, instead of attempting to draw a line along the edge. You might be able to tell by now that this is not how the end result turned up looking. Since I wasn't satisfied, I began by glazing medium grey all over. Basically a wash, but making sure not paint was pulling on the recesses so as to maintain the black shadows. After, I went all over again with the line pattern as well as the edges with medium grey. Since my first application against the black hadn't achieved full saturation and the jump to pale sand was too high. While I was able to salvage the look, I have plans to improve on this method and make it more time efficient as well as better looking. So for an internet enthusiast watching, be aware that this is not the final version of my method. 
After painting the eyes orange and mixing the models, they were tabletop ready. The gloss varnish didn't make up much of a difference on the tentacles on the mouth, so I might skip it next time. Either way, I am pleased with the result and I hope you keep following along as I paint the rest of the box.